name is Jonathan Goodman. In my business helps personal trainers make a little bit more money in a little bit less time and do a better job with the sole goal of just producing the best information regardless of the source for everybody and bring everybody together at once and that's what we've done. When I was 24 years old, I wrote a book for personal trainers because at that point I didn't realize there was any reason why a 24 year old shouldn't write a book to educate an industry. It came out, it did quite well, and I actually produced the website originally to help promote the book. I realized pretty quickly after the website came out that I only knew so much. Figured if I had like two good ideas in a year and I found 25 other people that had two good ideas in a year, then I could build a pretty darn good website. So that kind of collaborative nature just evolved. It was just a matter of looking out into the ecosystem out there and saying, there's so many people out there doing such good work, saying such good things, but they're all over the place. Let's, let's bring them under one roof. And I had no idea what I was gonna do with it, but I always kind of knew that if I built the platform first, I could figure out how to turn it into a business later. Before the actual membership site launched, we were on a product launch, I guess, model. But for anybody who's launched a product, you know that no matter how much success you had in the past, the minute that you send out that email to your list saying, hey guys, it's live, you're clicking refresh over and over again until that first sale comes in, right? Like, you're not 100% sure of yourself, no matter how many times you've done it before. So I didn't really want my business to be, I guess, contingent on that. So I needed that recurring reliable income stream into the business. What I learned from Stu about building a membership site had really fundamentally changed my business, but also, I guess, my mindset around my business. I did have membership sites before, but I didn't really know why I did it, and I didn't really know why I wanted to do it. But when I'm looking for information on how to build something now, I'm just gonna go straight to whoever I think is the best in the world. What I learned from Stu was not just like, hey, here's how you market a membership site. It was, here's all of that nuanced stuff that you only really know if you're a true expert and if you've been in it for a long time. Was, I started doing a lot of surveys and I started doing a lot of phone calls. I wanted to see what real trainers who did real good work actually wanted, actually needed. Because we did so much work to build up the audience beforehand, figuring out what they really wanted, what they really needed, online training solved the problem that they had, and it was a huge success right out of the gates. But as a business owner, what it's done is it's infused a lot of reliable income into the business. My best advice is make sure that you know what you want to get out of it. You know, you know why you're building a membership site, you know what problem you want to solve in your industry that the membership site serves and then kind of using that and building your strategy around that. The most rewarding thing about having a membership site is just seeing the members every single day. Like we get messages from people saying that fitness industry is so fractured. People don't talk to each other. People fight each other all the time. There's no reason why a bodybuilder can't learn from a kettlebell expert, can't learn from a CrossFit expert, can't learn from somebody who likes running. But there's no reason why we can't learn from each other at all in one place. And that's the community that we built with the membership site. That to me is the most rewarding thing.